any updates from the weekend? No, we came through the game unscathed, which was uh, obviously pleasing. Um, we haven't uh, we haven't picked up anything during the week uh, as yet, and, and obviously guys who. Uh, haven't been involved for a few weeks, so Dave, the guys like Dave Dennis, Harry Williams, etc., have had more weeks of full training. So we're actually uh, actually looking a pretty strong group at the moment. Dave and Harry in contention selection. Well, just like everybody else, all the guys who are in full training are in contention. Whether they've had enough opportunity to get game time into them, them for us to drop them into the final selection is is a very tough call. Um, but as I said, you know, it was a good performance in the semi-final. Uh, we've been on form with a certain group over a number of weeks, so. I so say they're, they're going to be very tough calls to make. How do you assess the challenge of Saracen's role? Well, the truth is, I mean, you know, you, only, you, you don't have to look back to the last three or four games. You only have to look back to the last one, really, to see how, uh, how, how dangerous they can be. I mean, there's a, there's a huge reality that there's, we've got to make it a titanic struggle on the game line and, and around the set piece if we want to get any, any kind of foothold into the game. But it's always like that with Saracens. Those aren't things that you, you have to just try and find one week, but you have to find those every time you play them. Um, that's something that you've got to be aware of and if you if you fail in those battles then you fail in the game so it'll be an interesting challenge for us I think I think we're on good form as well we're on a good run of not just of wins but on a good run of performances um, we've had some recent success against Saracens uh, although we're not so naive as not to realize that um, they've probably not been full strength sides against full strength sides if, if you talk about international availability etc so it'll it'll be a very interesting challenge I mean I'm I'm kind of really pleased at Saracens because I think over the course of the year we've been the two most consistent sides. We've finished in the top two, we've been the two home semi-finalists. Um, you know, we did lose to them a couple of years ago. Um, you know, and I think it's one of those games. You know, it's it's a it really is a bit. Not I'm going to say all or nothing, but it, it does feel like that a little bit because uh, Saracens haven't been in the latter stages of Europe this year. You know, there's no real there's no real reason for this. Not to say this is a game where we're both absolutely flat out and we can we can see with no excuses who can come out on top. What have the key messages been this week around the group? Um, well, a little bit of putting putting behind the semi-final, leaving it behind us. You know, I thought we did that really well going into the semi-final. We left we left our best ever Premiership season behind us really well because you know we've, we've never finished top of the pile before, uh, and we and we did that with a little bit of time to spare. I thought we dealt with that situation very well, but we managed to leave that behind, and we certainly didn't roll into the Newcastle game, which is very important. We didn't just kind of prepare for that game, going, well, we're in good form, we're top of the league, we'll be fine. I thought we had, that was probably one of our best performances ever against Newcastle. You know, despite the scoreline being tight for a long time, I think it's the most control we've probably ever had against them. Um, you know, even this season at home, when we actually had a, a five-point win, um, there was a period in the game where they scored two, three tries to come back and get a bonus point. Well, we never let that kind of uh, situation happen on Saturday. So we're taking a step up from a good league season into the semi-final. Um, and the important thing is now we're prepared to step up again. But you know, at the, at the same time, you know, we've, we've got to make sure that what we did last week counts the same this week. Is which is prepare, prepare for your, prepare for being very good yourself. Focus on your own qualities, what you want to bring to the game, and don't try not to get too, I don't know, uh, too carried away with little bits and pieces you might think you need to add for one-off games. You know, there's, there's always going to be little momentum moments you can try and win or add to a game, but on the whole, these games are won by the team who can force their own game plan that they're comfortable with on the game for the longest. And that's our battle and that's Saracen's battle as well. Does it help in a, in a way you've only got four? You know, if Liverpool started last time, you know, it, it makes it fresh. You know, in a way, you, you'd like everything to be the same, wouldn't you? It was last year, you just do mm. exactly the same, but in fact, that, that's not possible. Is it? I mean, I suppose there's a little bit for I mean, I know there's only four starting who started um, last year. But like I say, it's a little bit false. We've got quite a numerous number on the bench. We've got a couple of guys who are running around with the squad full on now, just getting back from injury. So the group itself isn't as changed as it sounds. Mm -hmm. I think because of, and they were guys who were involved through semi finals and our run into the semi finals and all our training, um, and they were all there at Twickenham. I think, I think actually it's quite a big group have been involved and they've got an experience of it. I do think the freshness of it is a little bit, it, I think it can add a bit of desperation when you need it sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've, you, we've got quite a number of guys there who weren't the guys who lifted the trophy last year. And as much as they were delighted to be part of the squad, they haven't had that feeling. And it's something you should want to fight for and you should want to taste and you should want to experience. And we've got to expect those guys to be part of our driving force, part of our mo motivation to be a better side. You know, if the guys who haven't, who haven't yet achieved things for you can't add to your motivation, they shouldn't be at the club. You know, they should go somewhere else. You, know, you can't just rely on the guys who've done it before and say they're going to be the most highly motivated people. They can only be driven by the people underneath them and I think 
that's what we've seen from the group this year. Are you doing everything else the same? Are you staying in the same place? And I mean, different colour shirt on over. We're doing most things the same, as you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> do you take little bits from the last two finals, or do you just pass those? As yeah, no. I mean, it's like it's too. It's, they're, they're too important the games to not learn from, and we we learned a fair bit from the first one, as much as what to expect as you arrive at Twickenham, because you know we've got a fantastic supporter base here. But I think I think most people were taken back by the level of support as we drove into Twickenham. I mean, literally the bus had to had to crawl through our supporters. There were five, six deep all along the side of the, the driveway into Twickenham. Um, the volume of their, their singing, their support was incredible. And I think things like that, once you've experienced it once and you know it's coming, you can very easily shut yourself down from it and lock away a little bit. And I think those those are the kind of elements once you've experienced them and you've learned from them, um, and you can talk about them quite openly and say, look, let's make sure. We don't let anything distract us before we hit the pitch because you, you guys have watched Saracens enough. If you're if you're if you're out of the game after 10 or 15 minutes against Saracens, it's very hard to get back into it. You know the quality of how you actually hit the pitch and react to that first whistle is going to be very very important. And we certainly can't afford to be having a look around Twickenham uh, while the game's going on.